Hi everyone, I'm hopeful that all you will be fine. In this session, we will learn how we can actually create the WebEx meetings using the WebEx REST API. Okay, I have already, already created a session regarding the WebEx OAuth flow. So if you are new here, then just please go back and watch the WebEx OAuth flow in, in, from the WebEx integration playlist. Okay, so we are keep continuing with the WebEx REST API and uh, for meeting creation, we first need to create a constant file so we say here webex constants okay dot js and we also create a meetings helper so we say webex meetings helper dot js okay and first we need to create the const api base url inside the constant so we say https and webex api dot com slash v1 and we there's a base path and we say here meetings and const meeting and we need to set the meeting valid path export okay so we need to export both here we say meeting we need to format the code inside the webex meeting helper we first need to import the request okay so we require and we say request and we also import the constant so we say require and here we need to import the constants here we say api base uri and meeting okay and at the bottom we first need to uh, create a helper for the meeting creation so we say here create meeting and we need to pass the payload async payload and need to define the body and here here we just go to implement that okay so inside the payload uh, for the webex meetings we have a, a bunch of fields we can configure for the meeting payload okay but for this basic meeting creation we only pass the required fields so for the webex meeting these are the required fields only okay so title so one of them is title title is a required field and another is a start and end so these are the three only required fields okay when you are going to create the meeting a basic meeting with, with and no any further configuration or further security uh, uh, related fields then you can just only set this field and post the payload to the meetings relative path okay so we will we will also learn, learn more regarding the other fields but in this current session we only create a basic meeting okay so here we first need to create a uri so we say meeting uri and we use string interpolation inside there we say api base uri and we need to append the meeting okay and then we need to create a promise and here we say async and resolve okay reject and inside that we need to bind the request okay so here we say return either we we just say request dot post and inside that we first say url url will be meeting url okay and form will be payload okay and we need to bind the handler so we say here error and response a result and we say body okay and here we need to set if error then we call reject and pass error okay and if there is no any error then we just return and here we say resolve and we need to pass the json dot stringify and we pass body okay and then we need to set then and we say response okay and here we need to return the response okay and we also bind the case so we say error we need to return the error okay and we need to i think we have already returned the promise 
so we have no need to add any extra return okay and inside the options we also need to set the headers so for the headers we say authorization we need to pass the bearer okay and we set the bearer from the process dot env dot we say access okay need to format the code and then we just need to export this so we say module dot export and here we say create meeting okay format the code and inside the apis we first need to import that helper we say const and rukaya and we say webex meeting helper and inside that we need to call or import create meeting at the bottom we need to create an endpoint for the meeting creation so we say post okay and here we need to create the endpoint to see we say api webex meetings and that's it and async and we need to request response here we need to say late meeting and we say await get meeting and we say request body okay and we just need to return response for json and we pass meeting okay need to format the code okay place a breakpoint and before starting the api i must be show you uh, uh something regarding the scope so here you can see we do not have a meeting right scope okay so we must be enable the meeting right scope okay so for that you can navigate to the developer webex developer.webex.com then click on your apps okay click here my webex app click and inside there at the bottom you have a meeting right scope okay so you can see here i think we need to uh, i think we need to find right and we say okay so we need to select this okay so meeting schedules right we need to enable that and we schedule read also we can set that and we need to save okay and then we just need to copy these scopes from here either we can directly just copy the schedules and then at the end just a space and here we append meeting okay and we also say meeting and schedules read okay need to save and now just let's start okay so if we will only be able to create the meeting once we have a right scope okay so that's why i added the right scope so in pm start first need to install the packages Okay, until packages are installed until that we can i think we can place a breakpoint here and here okay so now i just need to start and from the browser we first need to authorize oh i think i have missed one thing okay and which is in the redirect i i i must be added that to the process so here we need to inside the response we first need to set the process dot env dot access token and from the response we set inside the process so we then we can get that inside the meeting cell there's a not good programming practice for only demo purposes of this session so i'm just going to store the uh, access token inside the process okay but the best practice is that it totally depend on your OAuth flow that which
which OAuth flow type you are going to using. Okay, that means if you are uh, using OAuth flow over the offline, then you must be stored the access code token and refresh token inside the DB. Okay, and if you are going to use the OAuth flow with the online, then you must be have a session and where you can store the credentials until the session live. Okay, so just stop. Let me start and then now I think I have a breakpoint here also. But first, let's API WebEx authorize hit enter and we need to log in. Okay, sign in. just need to accept we have a token and now we just call localhost api i think we need to send the payload from the postman okay because we do not have a farm on a us so we say postman and from the postman we need to add the request so here we add request and we say create webex Meeting, save, and need to enter to post. And from here, we need to set body and JSON, and then we need to set title. We say test meeting for WebEx REST API. Okay, and we set start. So we said start date over the time. So we say here it will be second, so it will be 2022 20, and 12, and we say 02, and then we said 1200 and 00, okay. And end, we just need the same, just we add the 30 minutes, okay. And zero two, and we say zero one and zero zero and okay. Save and need to send the request. Okay, no first set the URI. So we say HTTP localhost port four thousand API WebEx slash meetings. Save it. Send the request. Start the body, we have a start end and title, send the request. First check inside the process, we have a token. Okay, meeting URI. We have a payload. Now send the request. Okay, so inside the response. So it is saying that the request could not be understood by the server. Okay. is after end oh, I think we have something missing something not valid oh I think we need to change this because here is date is changing so it will be three it will be date third must be that's why we are getting this error continue now let's resend the request once again Continue, continue, and we can see inside the response. I think why the response is not JSON in the JSON, we need to convert the JSON once more. But you can see here we have created a meeting, okay? So it is a test meeting and need to continue. And on the browser, I think in the postman, we have a response, okay? On the meeting, let's see that meeting inside the dashboard so we say webex.com okay sign in Save the email. 
sign in is taking a bit time still page is loading Okay, you can see we have the exact meeting here with the title test web meeting for WebEx REST API. Okay, so I'm hopeful that you have enjoyed the session. In the next session, we will uh, keep deep dive with the meeting creation and meeting management with the WebEx REST API. Okay, so if you have any query regarding the session or the OAuth flow uh, sessions regarding the WebEx, then just please share your uh, queries inside the video comment section either you have any suggestions or queries uh, for the other sessions then those all are most welcome so you can share those via my share contact details and hopefully we will come back with the next session take care bye bye